While Central American migrants make up the majority of illegal immigrants crossing the southern border, more and more migrants are coming from other countries, including Cuba. One America's Eddie McCubbin reports. As the surge of illegal immigration at the U.S.-Mexico border continues, the numbers and variety of migrants are increasing. One America News recently spoke to Vice President of the National Border Patrol Council, Art Del Cueto, about his recent trip to El Paso. He says agents there are finding more and more Cuban migrants among the number of so-called asylum seekers. There were very large groups turning themselves in. Surprisingly, some of these large groups were Cuban nationals that were entering into the United States. Del Cueto says agents who spoke with the Cuban migrants are, like others, coming to the U.S. to escape poor economic conditions in their home countries. We would speak to them and they were quick to say, the reason I'm coming to the United States is because I'm getting a better job. The reason I'm coming to the United States is because I already have a, a job lined up. So, uh, you know, those are things that agents would be able to see and say, hey, you know what, this guy, it's not a real asylum claim. About 4,500 Cubans are staying in Juarez, Mexico, as they wait for their asylum claims to be heard. But Cubans are just part of the story. Agents in the Rio Grande Valley sector are coming in contact with increasing numbers of Chinese nationals and even migrants from a number of African nations as the word gets out about what some, including President Trump, would call America's weak immigration laws. Eddie McCoven, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.